All right, gang. Bison here. Uh, since Daytona is still on a rain delay, I'm going to take this time to make a video and show everybody my get home bag. Now, what you're looking at is the 511 Rush 72 in Multicam. It is concealed inside of a Easter Mountain Sports large waterproof pack cover. Now, please listen to my thought process behind what I'm going to say. Um, I have the black pack cover on it because if it sits in the back seat of the car strapped in and somebody peers in, it looks like a bag of laundry or something. It's not an appealing tactical pack. Someone wants to break in and steal it. Everything else in the back of the FJ I keep covered. So if you peek in, you're not going to see any of the goodies that I've shown everybody in the past videos. Um, so with that being said, let me just unveil the bag. So again, this is the Rush 511 72 hour pack. Now it's a 72 hour pack, but now this is geared just for getting home. Now let me explain to you my thought process on the get home bag. The get home bag is a bag you keep in your car for a situation where you have to do an impromptu overnight stay. There's some bad weather conditions, something happens. You need to walk home, you're, you know, 20, 30 miles away from home, what, what have you, and you need to get home either by hoofing it on foot or you need to stay somewhere overnight. Um, who knows? Now, this bag in conjunction with the items I have in the FJ currently, well, the FJ is pretty much a mobile bug out bag, but this bag, if I'm traveling a long distance with a friend uh, for a trip, in another vehicle or I'm traveling with a buddy in his vehicle to a job and we're far away I will take this with me so if something happens I have a bag to stay somewhere overnight or hoof it home with a lot of basic survival and first aid items in it to get me home to my equipment and my gear so that's the thought process behind it so this is a get home bag it's not a bug out bag um, so let's dive into some of the co uh, contents. On the outside here, top pouch, I basically just have a couple sunblocks. I found these at Target. It's in the travel section in little bins. And in here, I have some bug spray and some hand sanitizer. That's in the top. Moving the tripod a little closer, flipping the bag over. In the outer compartment on the outside, I do have a couple Grimlocks to hang things off of. A little Night Eyes beaner with a bottle opener hanging out somewhere, and someone doesn't have a bottle opener for some beers. I got that covered. In this top pouch here, just keep a couple packages of hand warmers. Next pocket down, I've got what you've seen before in my other videos, a trowel for digging, in case I need to, I don't know, dig a hole to bury some waste after, if I have to go to the bathroom in the woods or whatever, who knows. So that lives in here. On this side, I just got one of these Coleman fire discs. It's an emergency uh, fire starter and a heating source. And it is safe to use for cooking. Pretty much can break it up. I just like the uh, patty by itself. Looks like uh, burger meat. <laughs> so that's there. I also have in here a SAS survival guide in a plastic bag. Some wilderness playing cards with survival facts on them. 50 feet of black parachute cord. Shelter building, making slings, anything. I have a SteriPen for purifying water. We've seen these in uh, my previous video with my other bag. 
Also having here a little Cato AM FM radio, AAA batteries. I found this on County Com's website. Some wet ones. Just an emergency poncho. Some uh, extra hand warmers. Again, I might be traveling with somebody or if I got a really long trip. These only last uh, for so long, 10 hours, so if it take me a day or two to get home, I have extra. You could also stuff them in your shoes and socks. I have a Wright and Rain notepad. And a Smith & Wesson defense pen. Dropping stuff. Down behind that, I just have a, a Sharpie, a pen, another pen, and this is just a little tiny. One side's got Phillips head, two different sizes. The other side has flat head. Found this on County Com also, just a little screwdriver. Nothing on that side. And in the back here, I've got the ultralight ember lit stove. Now, this is a, another redundancy item in here for cooking. This is made leaf for making a, a small fire if I have to uh, conceal myself and hide out. And uh, this is just so I really won't be seen and it also doubles as something to cook with. Moving along here to this compartment. And here I keep a large contracted trash bag. Great for shelter. Great for filling with leaves to make a padding uh, under your sleeping area for comfort and also for keeping your body separated from the cold ground to keep the heat inside of you and a shemag. A shemag has dozens and dozens of uses. Face cover, concealment, uh, covering your mouth from dust and debris, warmth, many uses. And here I've got an old school, this is the Spydeco Rescue. I think I bought this knife probably back in, oh my god, 1991. I've got in here the Gerber Omnivore flashlight. Saw this in my previous videos. I also did a review on it. This will take a CR123A battery, a AAA, and a AA. So you have three batteries that you can use with this light. So if you're looking for stuff, you're bound to find one of those three. And here's just a little stretch light. It's a flashlight and also a small lantern. I found this uh, at Gander Mountain. Let me pack up the front area, then we'll go right to the rest. Okay, continuing. In the side pocket here, I basically keep all my first aid items. I have a, a Sam splint in here, tons of different bandages, dental medic, Gauze, a pair of clear safety glasses in case you're doing some hiking in the woods at night or during the day. Protect your eyes from branches and other stuff. There are some face masks in here and some hearing protection. And various uh, medications. There's a little pocket emergency guide here. Various medications for colds, some antihistamines, um, some... Benadryl in here for a reaction to something. So those are all the basic first aid items in case something happens on the road, at work, etc. Flipping it around. On this side of the pack. Now these are really cool. These are four foot, about an inch and a half wide, multi-cam Velcro straps. I found these, believe it or not, at Home Depot. You get a pack of two for, I think, $14. They also sell single ones that are six feet long, about two inches wide, for about 12 bucks. So that's in there. In here, in this little 511 Compass GPS pouch, I have my Etrex 20 by Garmin GPS. I've got my Mora Light My Fire knife with a thorough rod built into it. Got 
I also have in the side pocket a little pair of Simmons binos. I've got a couple eight hour snap lights. I have an ASP, well it's a knockoff ASP. It's a collapsible baton for defense on the defense in case I have to defend myself. That lives in the side. And what else is in here? There are the glow sticks. I also keep in here just uh, one emergency flare. So I'll button this back up and then we'll go into uh, the other compartments. Alright, moving along. In the outer area here I also keep a medium multicam waterproof pack cover. So if I do have to go in the woods and I have to hide out, I don't want to be found or seen, I can cover the pack now with the multicam and now it's waterproof and if I have to hide the bag or, and conceal it I have to go back and retrieve it, at least it's got a waterproof cover on it and it's camouflage and I can put that over the black as double insulation in the top area here if we can see this top compartment here I've got some uh, Gorilla tape. Very, very strong stuff. I like this better than duct tape. Six hour emergency candle. And there are just various batteries in there. CR123, double and triple A for my flashlights. This next compartment here would be the shelter kit. And here I've got a small Sol emergency bivy. It's like a little insulated sleeping bag. Well, toilet paper is in here. That's not for shelter, but there's two rolls of TP. This is, uh, I showed this on a previous video of my prepper finds. This is a Mylar poncho. So you have a poncho to wear that will insulate your body heat. You can throw it on underneath your clothing or jacket for extra warmth and wear it in your shelter. I also have an emergency blanket by Saul. Another non-shelter item, but this is some fresh bath for wiping up, cleaning up. And just like I have in the bug out bag, this is a Mylar emergency tent. So that's the kind of shelter stuff I have. So those items in conjunction with the contractor bag should provide a decent shelter. And in here, I've got a pair of heavy duty DeWalt work gloves. I've got a little face mask like you would wear use for skiing or something, gator face mask. Some ear warm warmer and another pair of uh, light duty gloves. These I found uh, these are firm grip. They come like multicamish. I got them at Home Depot. Really really cool. They have them out now and they're uh they have them in multi uh like um not multicam um real tree which I do not like. And the main compartment in here, let's see what we got in this guy. Let's move the tripod over here so we can see. In this pouch that I picked up from Cabela's, it's like a 9 by 12 pouch with molly webbing, very cool. I keep a cliff bar, 5 hour energy, another cliff bar, another 5 hour energy. Um, and here is, let me show you, this is a Ultimate Survival Technologies, it's a little stove that kind of opens up, you can see it here in the picture, and it holds one of the little wet fire tinders, and you can put your cup right on top of that, which I have in the bag, to cook with, boil water. I have a ferro rod in here, magnesium fire starter, a lighter, there's a can opener in here, and this is a little collapsible spork that I found at REI. It's a little spork that folds up. It's really cool. Also in here, 
I keep some Hawaiian punch and some other uh, sugar-free drink mixes some tea bags and again guys this this is not just stuff for like you know getting home and survival this is also in my in the car you know in case I'm at work and I want to make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or, or something I've got it with me so moving on I got some coffee some creamer some sugar and uh, water filtration tablets and I also have one of those frontier emergency filters you plug in the straw and you dump it in your water source and you just drink right out of it so this with the stereo pen and uh, the tablets I got plenty of water purification here I've got those things that you can put on your boots like uh, I guess crampons you call them maybe uh, for hiking and walking in uh, snow and icy conditions so if I have to hoof it and it's really icy out I'm going to uh, double my odds of not slipping by putting these on my boots normally every day for work I wear Merrell's or Solomon hiking boots and here I have a 511 packable jacket rain and, wind, rain and wind resistant very very cool this is size large 511 tactical moving on to the main pack again this is my uh, solar monkey solar charger I did a review on this I picked this up at Easter Mountain Sports to charge my various devices I have a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle with the cup and here is the bun lid that goes over the cup to boil water faster now uh, I've showed this many many times a good subscriber a friend of mine uh, did find a link to this I'll put it in the description box this is made by bun b-u-n-n -N. it's actually a uh, part you can order that comes with a coffee pot. It's uh, pretty much for industrial use like you know food service stuff It's not like a commercial item, but I'll put the link to that in the bottom This little black hawk bag is just pretty much all of my hygiene items towels shaving cream soap razors toothbrush, etc In this bag here, I got some 550 cord and inside of it. I've got two pairs of socks underwear extra shirt and a pair of pants again for the overnight stay or if I'm in a horrible climate and I'm hoofing it that's going to keep me uh, dry and warm and then I also carry four of those Bridgeford things I showed you in a previous uh, video they got two barbecue beef and two sweet and sour chicken these are little um, vacuum sealed sandwiches a lot of calories is four of those so with four of these the cliff bars and the five hour energies that should keep me going for a while and then I've also got a bunch of large zip ties could be used for repairs or shelter building and the last item inside is my BK3 tack tool could be used for batoning building a shelter and if I have to gain entry or escape from something, who knows what the situation is, I've got this to uh, help me out to seek shelter or help free someone who's trapped. Who knows? We don't know what's going to happen, but we're ready for it. Okay. And the very top here of the bag, I have just a headlamp. And we'll flip the bag around. Now beating up the iPod. I also have a bladder in here that's empty at the moment. I've got a multicam insulator over the tube so I can fill that up. Little crook neck LED light on the shoulder straps. Also have a little compass here. And on the belt. I have a backup compass and I keep a Motorola radio in here. The other one's in the car. Uh, I took it out to charge it, but I'll put the second one in the pack. So if I'm traveling with somebody, I've got two comms. And lastly, on this side, I've got this is a tactical Taylor multi tool pouch. I've got uh, Gerber blunt nose pliers. So there we have it, gang. This is my get home bag. Again, this is to get me home in case of an emergency and I have to hoof it. 
and there's nothing too terrible going on if, you know, roads are closed or something, or I got to do an impromptu overnight stay somewhere, I'm good to go. So there it is, guys. There's a look at my 511 Rush 72 Get Home Bag. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bison out.